Children are often best suited for epilepsy surgery due to the fact that their brains are still developing and can better adjust to surgery. Hello, I am Dr. William Bingaman, epilepsy neurosurgeon at Cleveland Clinic. Extratemporal lesionectomy is the most common pediatric epilepsy surgery. It is performed to remove isolated lesions in the brain that have been identified as the primary seizure focus, such as tumors or congenital malformations. Seizure free rates after surgery can range from 50 to 80 percent depending upon many factors. In rare instances, a child may have severe, uncontrollable seizures coupled with weakness or paralysis of one side of the body. This typically results from damage to the brain caused by an underlying disease. For such patients, a hemispherectomy may be considered. There are several types of hemispherectomies. Anatomic hemispherectomy involves removing the entire half of the brain, including the frontal, parietal, temporal, and occipital lobes. Functional hemispherectomy involves removing a portion of the brain's hemisphere. The remaining tissue and fibers that communicate with the other side of the brain are disconnected. Periinsular hemispherectomy involves disconnecting certain fibers, interrupting the communications network of the affected brain hemisphere. One year after epilepsy surgery, 80% of Cleveland Clinic patients continue to be seizure-free. In some cases, surgery is not possible. Seizures may come from multiple brain areas or the risk to brain function may be too high. For these patients, vagus nerve stimulation is available and may be appropriate. Our epilepsy surgery guide can help answer your questions. Download your copy as you begin your research or print it for a loved one. And remember, we're always here to answer your questions. Just call or email Cleveland Clinic Epilepsy Center.